I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Don't be a damn fool. The experiment to prepare. We prepare. Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday! Can you believe it? She is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, honey. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you Congratulations, mother. young lady. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official Vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only 10 once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just helped with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess! Gross! I didn't think you even liked boys. Especially not Freddy the Freak. Yuck. I guess maybe I... The question is... Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Having a nice time. Happy birthday! Enjoying yourself? Nice party. Attention, everyone! It's time to cut the cake! Candy, wait! Hey, have a birthday, no <laughs> Nice pit boy. What is that? One of the 3,000 oh, no. animals? What I piece of junk? Mortified I can get the wine. I told you not to ask all official. 
I yeah. know you were joking, I got one. but I'm not the sure anyone else. This party's pretty good, I guess. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do me? Oh, right. Did. Jeez, no, Wally, who's the head of the gang? You are me? No way! Speeches. Besides, that hey, friend of yours could Volt use a reminder that Get life it? is not all Who wants to go game? around all day being called a Volt uh, Sometimes I think you really are as dumb as you look. You know, fun? You should try... Try it sometime, Daddy. You might like... How's it going, sweetheart? Having a good time? It wasn't easy Do keeping this a secret. Her? I'm sure of it, Amata. Never suspected a thing. Now go on and enjoy yourself. Sorry about Butch. Your dad said we had to invite him. Um, what about the turtle wrap? How do you like that there Pip-Boy, miss? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the Aesir... Here I am going on about your Pip-Boy, and I clean forgot about your present. Here you go. Happy birthday. It's not my... Were our rats tough enough? Are you, you having a nice... Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Yep. Fiddlesticks! What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am, rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Snakes and rats and wizards. I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. I do not allow the fact that Amata is my daughter to compromise my position as overseer. I gave her all the appropriate paternal encouragement, of course, but I could not contribute extra vault resources. That is simply what my position requires. No more, no less. I know Amata understands that perfectly well. Oh, never mind. I can't believe my mom Hello, made me come Gomez. to this stupid party. I'm, you can make it. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Get the fuck out. Mrs. Palmer said I didn't have... Now are you gonna give me... about my mom, you little punk. Little bitch. You're gonna I'm be sorry, you fuck up. Say, hey, Uncle! Butch, what are you doing? Hitting a girl and on her birthday, for heaven's sakes. Did he hurt you, honey? Jonas? Hey, Doc. I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? Why, that little? I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he was born. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. Okay. All right, nice Butch. Time? Thanks. I'll send her right hey, now. Hey, Officer Gomez! Nice party! Little baby went crying to not Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. I'll just remember, Gomez. I'm keeping my eye on you. Why are you still hanging around? Why are you still hanging around? What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. Uh, 
Right. That's exactly what I was thinking. Go on, mingle. You're gonna be really sorry you mess with me, Pop. Are you having a nice time? You're gonna be really sorry you mess with me. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. <laughs> they sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Nice party. Bye-bye. Go on. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs. Come on, you guys can do better than that. We need a good name. Oh, See oh, ya. I got it. Oh, man, this is a great one. The Grease Weasels. What do you guys think? Yeah. Another youth well on her way to becoming a productive vault citizen. Uh, Sounds like everybody's having a good time in there. Bye bye. Enjoy the party, sir. Ha, I only showed up because Amata's friends were a brat. Give them a few more minutes, and then I want that place cleaned up and everybody back to work. Sure thing, sir. What? What are you doing down here, young lady? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. <laughs> you sure are. Pip-Boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Surprise? Okay. I'll buy it. Buy it. Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the Overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. What do you think? You can come down here and... Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Happy birthday, darling. I hope you have fun with it. Hey, you don't turn 10 every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. Shoot something? But I can't shoot. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less rad roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with the big game hunter. Mm, quite high. Quite high. Smile. Boys and girls have different parts. What is your problem right? anyway? So 
I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That's like, exactly I get any special Tell me. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old girl. So, yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Goat go on now. Exam. You've got a GOAT to take. GOAT to take. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We're born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities, that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? That's what the Overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Your mother, she... she was beautiful, but beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate about life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, oh, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, honey, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the Overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the Overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Bye-bye. Take care, sweetie. I got out of here. And good luck. Aha! Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? You better stay away. I don't want you to catch what I've Morning, got. Morning, Jonas. Okay, bye-bye. Morning, Doc. How's things? Have you had a chance to look over these results? Tunnel snakes? I was just going over them. I can show Talking you a real... real well? ...tunnel snake, I'm out of time. Just need to keep God, Butch! Why don't you just no leave me alone? What She's not do, Butch! Let's go into the store. Tell you daddy on us. What is it now, man? What is it now, man? Okay. I'm not scared of you, Wally Mac. I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. Stupid tunnel snakes! Immature assholes, if you ask me! Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? A bunch of idiots, if you ask me. They think they're so tough with their gang. All they ever do is hang around and cause trouble. They've got it in for me because my father is the overseer. Like, that's my fault. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says.
Daddy's girl, daddy's girl. Don't mess with the tunnel snakes. What? You mouthing off, Spaz? Everyone knows the tunnel snakes. Mm -hmm. We rule this vault, and we don't take shit from nobody. Not you, not her, and not her daddy, the overseer. Stay out of this. It's tunnel snake business. Me and Butch were just having some fun with this chick. I don't follow anyone. Wally Mac is his own man, and the tunnel snakes is where I belong. W why? You think Butch is in charge? Is that what people are saying? Because it's a load of shit if that's what they're saying. What? He's not the boss of me, no She's nothing, We're done Butch. here. Done? We're not done. This Don't know isn't, who put you in this charge. Isn't over. I say we're done. Let's go, Paul. Are you sure? Butch? Um, okay. Hey, Whatever you say, Ronnie. Right. Tunnel snakes rule. Oh, Fine, much. let's go. This ain't over, Daddy's girl. I'm not kidding. This isn't over. Didn't you just get new parts for it last God, week? God, that's over. Yeah, this sure did. Is Vault this isn't over. And you're enjoying oh, a brighter God. future. Yeah, Thanks for getting rid of them. <laughs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. When he was my age. Well, I hope it's working again soon for you. Thanks. Say, you want to grab some lunch later on? Sure thing. How about we head down to... Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Okay. I'm Come sure on. you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. On, we'll start on. as soon as everyone's oh, yeah. found a seat. Good luck. I don't have much time. Hurry up, hurry up. You don't want to be the first class in history to fail the GOAT, do you? Fuck. Okay. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brutch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? What's your response? What? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. Wait. The inf infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. Okay. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. Mm -hmm. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Uh, Question 5. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? Kill them. Question 6. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? How? Mm -hmm. Question seven. Oh no, you've oh, been no. exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? <laughs> Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. 
Issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Codian. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well... There are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Pit. Well, well. Pip-boy programmer, eh? Stanley will finally have someone to talk shop with. closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously, and look where I ended up. Just between you and me. The whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Wake up! You've got to get out of here! Your dad is gone and my father's men are looking for you! He's left the vault! I don't know how, but he's gone and my father, he's kind of gone crazy! It's Jonas! They killed him! My father's men! They took him and... Oh my god, you have to leave now! Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. I'm sorry, but I think you'll have to follow your dad. You'll have to escape from the vault. Listen. Maybe it isn't any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you that he was leaving? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Listen. There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. Mm -hmm. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Okay. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There she is. Hold it right there. You got. 
gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! No, I can't go back in. You're the best friend I've ever had, man. Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my tunnel snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. God, I could really use a drink right now. This is the overseer. All residents of Vault 101 are hereby confined to their quarters. infestation is under control. Do not interfere with vault security personnel. Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with. Severely. Fuck, fuck. That is all. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. Don't get any ideas.
over here. I didn't think I would make it. My, my, my father, he, I, my officer Mac, I, I didn't tell them anything, I swear. When the warning sirens came on, they all ran out. I, I guess that was you? I, I see you got the door open. That's good. You're right. Compared to Jonas, I'm just peachy. A few bruises, nothing more. What do I have to complain about? You seem to have come through in fine shape as well. Go on then. The door's open. Time for you to leave. And I'll stay here and clean up the mess you and your dad made. Don't worry, I'm sure I can patch things up with my father. That's what we do down here, isn't it? Smile and pretend everything is just fine. Hold, Hold it right, right there! there. Yeah, I'll do it. 